When I was in fifth grade, I started noticing like my body was doing weird things. I had stomach aches, cramps. I was starting to get weak at weird times of the day. I was tired all the time. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel like myself in my own body. So I went to my yearly checkup with my pediatrician and I hadn't gained any weight since the checkup I had the year before. That's when I kind of got like really scared. And then I went to the GI doctor and the celiac test was like a hundred and beyond, like off the charts. So that's when I knew I had celiac. There are many people out there who have symptoms that are likely due to celiac, but they're just not aware of it. For my daughter, she presented in a somewhat atypical way, and there are many patients like her out there that have symptoms that celiac doesn't come to mind as the first possible diagnosis. Many patients have already adopted a gluten-free diet for a number of different reasons. That makes testing for celiac more challenging because when you're on a gluten-free diet, many of our blood tests for celiac may become normal during that time. This is our automated line where our chemistry tests are conducted. Now, a physician will basically say, test for celiac disease, the laboratory will choose the appropriate tests in the right order. And the various tests are performed and then the samples are stored. And this is progress because now we order just the right number of tests for a specific patient. I think this new way of testing is a godsend for both patients and clinicians, including pathologists. As a pathologist, I often would experience questions and how to interpret these results. What do the results mean? Now we have clear instructions, a clear way of defining what the results mean and what the diagnosis is. I got into this field to help patients, and it's nice when we can help our clinical colleagues come up with the correct diagnosis that will decrease sickness in patients and hopefully also lead to a better quality of life for them. Living with celiac is something that was hard to like ease into. I went right onto a gluten-free diet. Now, after being on it for, I don't know, like three years or so, I feel so much better. It's now really just a way of life.